we have a new release kind of leak from Power Color on the 6650 XT. And it's a special edition kind of white card here. The newest RX 60, uh, 60 X, 6X 50 XT series is to release in a little over a week. And we have seen some manufacturers already leak their specific designs for the line on the internet. Yesterday, we reported Asus having two of their newest graphics cards listed for sale on a French online site. Before that, the only other GPU partner was ASRock. Now we hear from Power Color and their popular Hellhound graphics card series. This card is different than the previously announced 6650 XT model. This model will be primarily white with pink accents. Uh, this new white variant based on RDNA 2 refresh will have pink accents, a shade reminiscent of a the cherry blossom tree. Outside of the color range, it will still share the same heat seek thickness 8-pin power connector. There is also speculation that the card will maintain the same boost clock of 2689 MHz and the 17.5 GB per second memory as the company's uh, black variant. So we're still getting that memory boost in the 6000 or the 6X 50 XT series. And that's really what we're looking forward to as miners in the next week. The prediction that we have on the RX 6650 XT is going to be 35 mega hash a second. The projected price they're saying is between 379 and 399, which will, you know, maybe not make this as good of a deal as picking up the 6600, for example, because you can get those for 329 and they'll do about 30 mega hash a second after overclock. But time will tell in the release tomorrow. So that's really kind of what we're looking at. We're just getting more information for the 6, 6X 50XT basically the RDNA 2 refresh line. The big note about this refresh line, like we stated, is going to be that memory speed increase to 17.5 gigabits per second over the 16 previously. I think um, the performance increase, like we calculated previously in our prediction, isn't gonna be you know groundbreaking necessarily. It's gonna be a couple mega hash a second, presumably. It'll depend on what the power range is going to be because we also have to take into consideration that they're really pumping up the core on this. So the core voltage will be increased. Will you be able to bring it back down like as far as you can on the 6600 and 6600 XTs? Maybe, maybe not. If you can, then obviously the efficiency is going to be insane because the 6600 efficiency is already insane. Um, if you can't, then it may skew the the efficiency to where it's not worth upgrading to the you know 6x 50 XT from a 6600 uh, due to the pricing, right? So that's really where you're sitting at. Also, AMD could come out and say that the 6x or 6650 XT is going to be a lot cheaper. If they did that, I think then you have something more interesting. I would prefer. Or what I would hope to see is these new refreshes kind of settling back down in pricing. The 6650 XT I would like to see around $299. I think that's a fair price for it from the gaming perspective as well. Uh, especially seeing like how the markets are going back down uh, for just GPUs. The demand for GPUs are back down. I would hope that we see a, sm a lower release price for these cards than we've been seeing. If you go to Micro Center, the 6000 series is in stock, just Buku's on, up on Buku's of, of 6000 series. It's even to the point to where if you go to Best Buy, most Best Buys are having 6600 XTs on the shelves ready to go. Should you be buying them as a miner right now? Probably not. Like we've talked about before, you don't have as many algorithm options on even the 6000 series. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.